Hello, Paul's Experimental Workshop here. Scientist, engineer, maker, having fun. So again, I'm playing with VCarve to create some things on my CNC machine. So this is something that I did a V, actual VCarve. It's a style carving too. On, um, but this one, I changed how I was going to cut this. Again, it's a it's a vector that's a house and a vector that's words. The toolpaths I did for this were a pocket and a profile. So here is the profile. I profiled the house, which means a cut around the house. So just a big outline of a house cut. And I pocketed the words, my name. So let's see what those look like. Let's preview the pocket. Well, I previewed all of them. Da, 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 da. So see, it cut out the house left a raised house and I cut out the words and those are now a hole, a pocket. So that's the difference between pocket and profile. So that's cutting that one. Um, someone mentioned the idea of playing with the states and I saw someone did a project where they made a cutting board in the shape of the state. So that's pretty simple to do. Make your cutting board, glue, it, glue the woods together, then put it on here and cut out the exact shape you want. The idea with the you know, CNC is it's repeatable every single time. Just run this file every time, and it's going to cut out the exact same way. Using a scroll saw, jigsaw, there's going to be some, some uh, detail to it that's different. So I did a – I forget what I did. I used a quarter-inch end mill and – Oh, I forgot to show you that neat little thing. It calculates how long it's going to do this. So first, let's preview it. So preview all toolpaths. Boom, there it goes. Cuts around the house. Cuts around the, the estate. Now, here's the thing. Since I cut something out, I need to put tabs on it. That is a feature in toolpaths. I'll show you in a second. Because if I cut all the way through, it's going to come loose while we got this high-speed spinning tool next to it and it's going to chop it up um so there's that let us see how long it takes to do that it will take five minutes and 36 seconds to cut that out not bad it's a nice little feature edit tool path so this is where you add tabs you come down here click add tabs and boom. now you can delete them so notice my cursor becoming an x which deletes that tab, or it will become a check, and it will add a tab. So that's an important feature if you're cutting through. How do you know you're cutting through the material? Well, on the toolpath, again, my material, this is the 3 quarter inch MDF, which I measured to be 0.765. I cut through to 0.77. Which I so that's why you got to measure it to detail to know exactly where you're going. I don't want to cut 0 0.8, 0 0.9. I don't want to keep cutting too deep. I want to cut just through it. Now, underneath my board, I have a I will have another board called a spoil board, which I'm going to cut into the spoil board. Yes, but that's what it's for, because my bed is metal, and the bit is metal. So if I would just have one piece of wood and cut through that wood, I then take the bit into the metal, and that's not good. So you have a spoil board underneath it. Uh, so that's you know make a state. What else did I do? Oh, I was going to make this sign. And let's see what toolpath did I do here. I did a pocket. So it's going to pocket between those two vectors. I've got this other vector here drawn. I'm just playing around with it. Uh, pocket between here, these two vectors. And that would take two hours to do that. Now, why would that take two hours to do that? Well, let's... Again, here was profile. Here was pocket. Why would that take two hours? Well, I'm only going 0.3 inches deep, which is not very deep. I'm doing it in three passes. Oh, what does that mean? It's going to cut 0.1 inch deep every time around. You don't want to cut too deep all at once because you ruin the tool, you ruin your router. So you got to adjust uh, the depth. And it does a pretty good job of get saying, "Hey, this is how big the tool is. This is what we want to do." But sometimes I I've been adjusting it to do cut less. Um, you just change it by typing here, hitting, clicking down here, and it changes them. 
Um, now, why was it take so long? Possibly because I'm using an eighth of an inch tool to do all that. This might be a better thing where you use a larger cl area clearance tool and I use like a quarter inch or half, whatever, something bigger, that it'll cut out all of this stuff and cut towards the letters, but not quite on them. And then it'll have a second tool path created to use the eighth inch to cut the detail. So the, the computer, the program will create two tool paths for the same set of set of vectors. Um, and it should take, I would assume it to take less than um, two hours to do that. Yeah, we'll see. And what else did I have here? Uh, okay. Something else I wanted to show you. Snoopy. I found a vector. And it's a whole bunch of vectors. It's a vector drawing. So it's a whole bunch of vectors. All these black lines are vectors. Now, I, you don't have to use all of them. I actually only used three vectors, three of the vectors here, to create the cutout. And that's what it will look like when it cuts it out. Just those. So I didn't have to use all the vectors that came in with my drawing. I could have deleted them. I left them. I just, so. And then a final thing, Christmas ornaments. Now, I'm actually having trouble with this one. So there's a vector I want to cut. There's more that I want to cut. And I kind of want to cut that pocket between the two. So I'll pocket that. Um, start zero. I'm quarter inch deep because I'm not going to cut this out on three quarter inch board. I'd probably cut it out on quarter inch board. Um, using a detailed eighth of an inch bit. Going in four passes. Da -da -da -da. All that. I'm going to ramp it in, which means it's going to not drill straight into it, but it's going to kind of go on and um, slide down on a ramp and go to the to the depth that it needs to get to over an inch in movement. Uh, so we kind of click that and it says unsuitable. So I got to figure something out with CAD. I haven't figured out CAD all the way yet. So I'll talk to you more about ornaments in the next one.